Hi guys, so today's video I have a wig review for you guys, which I'm really, really excited to do. Um, this wig just recently came in the mail and I tried on and I was in love. Now I'm a really big fan of wigs, I own roughly around 25 wigs um, that I wear out. I wear for everything really, if I'm having a bad hair day or if I just cannot be bothered doing anything with it, then I should on a wig. So I recently purchased this wig from a British company called, and I will get it up so I'm not getting it 100% wrong. It is by a company called the Pussy Doll Palettes. Now that is their um, Facebook page and like you can go into the shop now and it shows you a bit of, you know, stuff that you can buy from their website. And I'd been on their website and their Facebook page and their website so many times and I'd never actually purchased a wig. I was torn between this wig that I'm about to show you and a um, like blue style one from another British company, but I opted for this one. So this is the wig in question that I got. I the only like real issue that I had, not with the company, but like with the pictures that they had on the Facebook page. Um, I will insert a picture here. And that's what the colour looked like on the picture. Um, now, to me, that was like a dark brown. Um, and it's, this kind of looks like a black. Um, even though I have the sh light shining on it, it still looks like a black to me. But it is a really dark chocolate brown. Um, that was the only issue I had with like the website. Um, the woman who runs it, really quick in getting back to you she was so friendly as well I had some obviously like I had an issue with the wig so I did message her and just ask her whether or not you know whether or not I'd been sent the wrong one or whether or not it was just that dark and she said it was just that dark and I said right you know that's fair enough um I did ask her about the exchange policy because I know some places don't have it obviously because there are wigs and then some places will do it purely depends on where you get it from um, unfortunately this company does not have a return policy obviously because of hygiene but it wasn't that much of a deal like a deal breaker so I think I will definitely be ordering from there again and the quality of the wig even though it is a synthetic wig and it does not have a fringe on it if you can see um, the only thing the only issue that I have with the wig itself is the front bit of the wig, it's like, it has like the hairline right down the middle, if you guys can see that. But then all of a sudden here, okay, all of a sudden it just stops, it's like there is no way it goes straight so down. So I know that it's not a synthetic wig, and I know most synthetic wigs have it going straight down, but um, as you've seen by the picture before, it kind of looks like it just goes straight on and it's supposed to be as natural as it can, can possibly be and I mean that is the only thing that is off-putting by it because it really literally just just stop there I mean there's like there is no there is no way I could cut that myself because I would ruin the wig Um, I kind of disappointed me but I mean it's a small price to pay really for quality that you have of this wig what I also love as well is the wig cap itself is humongous which I prefer because I prefer to have more room than less room. Um, so you obviously you have the clips. But like I said, I mean the wig cap itself is humongous. I mean look at the size of that. I mean that is like so much bigger than my head. Um, so it does like cut off around the back. But it's, it's not that bad. The cap itself is really good quality as well. Like the top. Obviously it's this kind of mesh so you can't really see through it and the back you can stick your fingers through <laughs> which is kind of great for me because I don't know about anybody else but when I'm brushing my wigs out I prefer to hold it like this just so I can get like a grip on it and then I can brush it out and um, the quality of the wig like the actual synthetic hair is beyond amazing I mean this cost me £30 for the actual wig and then £5 for postage and packaging. 
Now, postage and packaging. Oh my god, I bought this on the Sunday on a Sunday, and by Wednesday, it had already arrived. I mean, that is phenomenal deliver, especially for Royal Mail. I mean, that was brilliant. Um, but yeah. I mean, I really, really, really do love the quality of these wigs. Like, alright, so this is obviously, this hair is so soft. And, I mean, you can literally see the shine in it just by me having my hands underneath it. And just running my fingers through it. Um, the shine is unbelievable. But it doesn't look fake on your head. It doesn't look like it's a wig. Which I absolutely adore. Because, obviously, when I have my more natural wigs, I don't want them to look like wigs. I do want it to look like my actual hair. Um... So yeah, I mean the the thickness and the fact that it's so sleek and so soft is brilliant. Also the length of it, which I'm not entirely sure. Um, I will write down the length of it because I can't actually remember how long it is. So this, so this wig I actually have to bought from a registered shop. Now I kind of want to compare this to a synthetic wig that I bought. Um, I also did buy this from a shop. I am not going to mention the shop um not because you know I'd be kind but because I forgot where I got it from <laughs> and if I remember I will be posting below but I am this is one of the more unhappy wigs I've ever purchased um in my wig collection this is supposed to be a synthetic wig it is a synthetic wig but it is so bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, this one and teal one, I wanted it to be like Kylie Jenner's hair. That was the kind of effect that I was going for. When I originally got this wig, it I don't know if you can see it on this. Um, but there it is. It already like the wig had come with a kink in it. So it looks like somebody had had it in a pony for such a long time, or that was just the way that the hair had been made. Um, I mean, the colours and the transition from the black into the teal is, you know, seamlessly. It is brilliant. Um, the only issue, like, with this one is the wig cap is apps. It's so tiny. Like, that's the wig cap for the, for my synthetic one. And it literally, my other one was, like, down to here. Um, I mean, it does have the grips in it, but even with the grips in it, it doesn't really help stay on your head, <laughs> if you have a big head, which I do, unfortunately. Um, so that is really disappointing. Um, but also, right, so this was supposed to be a synthetic wig, which I paid, I think I paid £45 for this. Um, I think it was including postage and packaging. But look at the quality of this wig compared to the quality of this wig I mean you can literally see the difference I mean this wig is amazing compared to this one and um, I was so disappointed when I got this because I was spending so much money on it and it was just I mean the length is beyond amazing but it's it's just I mean even down to like the detail of the cap it is really shoddy work this one um but I kind of wanted to compare this one to the synthetic wig because even though even though it is a synthetic wig and it's you know designed to be more appealing on your head to make it look more realistic rather than a normal wig would um, I still I if I had the choice to redo it I would definitely go for this one rather than this wig um, not just that I mean like you, I have brushed the ends of this and you can see how frail it's already going. It's just, you can't really style it. And on the website it did say you could style it so you can't really do anything with that. Which I'm really disappointed in. So this is the wig on. Um, another one of my concerns about it is the way that it just drapes down at the front. It doesn't really do anything. Um, but I think once you've kind of styled it I kind of have the it going back and then maybe having a little bit at the front just kind of styling it in a completely different way but still having it really straight so as you can see it's a pretty long wig and um, it comes down just below um, my chest area 
So it is a really long wig and it's really luscious and it's really thick as well, which I really love. Um, I love the thickness of it. Like, so if I was to put it into like a plait, then I know that it would look, it would look right. You know, it wouldn't look stupid. And so, yeah, I love it. So yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's a really good quality wig and it does look natural. It doesn't look really badly synthetic. As you can see here, I mean, it kind of blends in, obviously, because of the colour and the colour of my roots underneath. Um, and it is a really good quality. Especially when you do put the hair back and you kind of style it to the way you want it. It does, you know, it's really, really good quality for the wig. Um, I don't really think I have any bad issues about when it's on either. Because even when, like I was saying before... When you style it and you style it the way that you want it, like you can do so many different styles with it. It's just, it's a really good wig. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that happens. There is one thing about the wig that kind of confuses me, and I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know if you can see underneath here. I have like these, no, you can't. There we go. A little bit on my ear. But as you can see, like these random flaps that I've got on it. And I have them on both sides. And I don't really have that on any of the other wigs that I own. So I'm kind of confused. Like I can put my ear in front of it. Um, or have that little thing on top. But again it's just a really confusing feature. Um, obviously because I've not had that on any of the wigs before. It's just kind of like weird. Um, I do get compliments telling me how nice my hair is. Because it does look really, you know it looks real. It doesn't look like a wig. Um, what I also like is if you do have dark hair underneath, or even if you have, you know, like if your roots are coming through, you can, you know, as long as you get all here, you can also put it behind your ear, probably pull a few strands forward and get it behind. And it, again, it still looks like your natural hair. It doesn't look like, you know, it doesn't look fake, which is what I love. So, yeah, I mean... Definitely, I would really recommend purchasing from this website again. And I do know for a fact that they do international delivery as well. And that usually takes about seven days, it says on the website. But I would definitely recommend purchasing from this website rather than a website that would send you something like this. Um, I mean, as you, I mean, you can just see, by the way, that I have this wig on, how, you know, it's, it's secure, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, and I will quickly show you what this one looks like. So, yeah, one of that. Okay, so as you can see, as I was saying earlier, this, like, lump that I have coming over it, I am seriously so confused by it. It's like, what? It just, it just doesn't look right at all. It doesn't feel right on the head. It doesn't feel like I can do anything with it. It just sort of, like, stays there and it's dead annoying. Um, and also, it comes off, like, really easy. It's like, all I'm doing, like, a little tug, and it's, it's coming off. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't stay there. It's just really bad. Really, really bad. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you come back next week for more videos. Until then, guys, stay positive. Mwah. Bye.